retail is in focus today after Tiffany gets downgraded by Loop Capital. Now the firm points to weak tourist traffic as the luxury goods retailer struggles to reach its same sales target. Emily McCormick is back with me. And Emily, the big question here is how much does trade and tariffs and the ongoing saga between the U.S. and China when it comes to trade, how much is that of that is playing into this call? Well, this call had very little to do with what Tiffany is doing operationally. Uh, the analyst on this, Laura Champagne, actually said that the product pipeline and the operational efficiency of Tiffany has been very good in the recent months. Uh, but really, this has everything to do with the macroeconomic picture and trade tensions, and specifically tourism. So if we look back to the most recent quarter, earlier in June, Tiffany reported that it had a drop in sales to tourists visiting the United States. That dropped steep into 25 percent last quarter from a year earlier, and that decline was even steeper among travelers from China, although Tiffany did not give a specific number on that decline. So that's a threat for all major luxury companies. If we look back, PVH, which owns Calvin Klein and Tommy Hilfiger, also called out a similar concern about tourism and about some of these travelers coming and spending money in the United States. So revenue from the Americas represents 40 percent of Tiffany's total sales. So to see that getting chipped away into uh, is something that is really concerning for the company, and that's what's uh, underscoring this call. Emily, one thing that stood out to me in their note here is the fact that they said that the stock still looks, still looks attractive in the longer term. Why do you think that is? Well, right now, there's just a lot of uncertainty around the trade tensions and around just the pace of global growth. So if we think about the slowdown that has been happening in economic data in China and abroad, that's something that's going to carry over to these luxury retailers, which have a little bit more elasticity uh, in terms of demand. So that's something that is really underscoring this.